My mother had breast cancer. Her, her two sisters had breast cancer. With that family history, Michelle Accardi's doctor suggested a test for breast cancer genes. It came back positive. When am I going to wake up and find out that I have breast cancer? So I decided because I have two twin five-year-olds at home, I'm a working mom, I just thought our best option was for me to just have this double mastectomy. And Michelle wanted breast reconstruction, but after mastectomy, there's often not enough skin to create a new breast all at once. So surgeons will insert a tissue expander that requires a weekly trip to the doctor's office to inject saline, gradually stretching the skin and muscle until it's large enough to remove the expander and replace it with an implant. Inconvenient and uncomfortable. Each time we want the expansion process to proceed, so we might expand a fair amount. They might start to feel some tightness when we do that. Here's an ingenious needle freeway. It's called Aeroform, and it uses a remote control to release air from a tiny embedded capsule to enlarge the expander. We place it underneath the skin, underneath the soft tissue at the time of the reconstruction, and then the patient can actually sink it at home. And that indicates that 10 cc's of air has expanded into the device. Aeroform has a built-in safeguard, so it can't inflate more than three times a day. Because it's gradual, it's more comfortable. But the cumulative effect is that it actually shortens the time needed to expand the skin. With saline, it could be eight or 10 weeks. Here, it might only be three weeks. But for Michelle, the big advantage was convenience. It was when I wanted to do it on my time and how much I wanted to do it. I did not have to come to the doctor's office. And Michelle had her final reconstruction done just two months after her mastectomies. For women who opt for reconstruction using implants, and that's the most common method, pretty much all of them could use the air expanders instead of the saline injection ones. And in most cases, the aeroforms are covered by insurance. And Dr. Israeli pointed out there are, of course, other reconstructive techniques using your own tissue, some other ways to do that. But this is the most common way, using the tissue expanders and then implants. It nice. takes away a lot of the burden of time going oh, back and forth. The convenience yeah. and, and their action, it's actually much more comfortable.